<coughs> Welcome back to Sacred Circle. We hope you enjoyed our circle. Um, we're done with our cookies. <laughs> and uh, we have one more thing that we're going to do. Um, we're going to each make a wish for all of us and all of you for the millennium. And we're going to start with Tiffany because it's her idea. My wish for the millennium is knowledge. Um, because knowledge brings compassion and understanding. It also brings power. But you have to remember that with that power, it can be misused. And power misused only shows your ignorance. Eric? My wish for the middle of <laughs> I hate that word. <laughs> <laughs> the millennium is awareness. Um, as with knowledge, one must be aware of the gifts that they've been given and the powers that they have and the strengths that they have and how to use them appropriately or misuse them and be aware of which course of action that they choose. Frank and I wish for all of you something that we have rediscovered and that's love. No matter what situation you may be in, there is someone who loves you and loves you very, very much. And if it's not someone on the physical plane, then there are a lot of those across the veil who love you. So our wish for you, for the millennia, and for all of us here, is love. Oh, I love that. <laughs> and speaking of love, <coughs> um, I would love to thank the um, magazine Horns and Crescent. I'm going to try to hold this up. Um, I don't know if you guys can get it or not, but Horns and Crescent did an absolutely wonderful review of, there we go, of um, Sacred Circle, and we thank you very much. It's nice to know that people are watching us. It's nice to know, to know that you guys appreciate what we're trying to do, and we encourage all of you out there, if you have ideas, please let us know. Um, send it to the, either mail it to the Sacred Circle address or email us at our email address, which will come up sometime, hopefully, in the uh, next few minutes um, when we take our next break. And we would like to thank all of you for watching with us. It's been a pretty <sighs> interesting year. <laughs> <laughs> but it's been a really good year all the same. So we'd like to thank all of you for staying with us. Um, and speaking of staying with us, Tiff, we're very glad that you came back. Um, for those of you who don't know, Tiffany is our daughter. And um, it's not an easy thing to be a teenager and be pagan, um, hold the kind of beliefs that we all hold and that we share. And yet this young lady does it with grace and poise and a self-confidence that just makes her mother very proud. <laughs> but what we're really here to talk about is what can you do for us? No. <laughs> <laughs> what the youth community has started to take a more active role at gatherings, um, at conferences, um, in covens, and we know that there are a lot of young people out there who are seeking this information. And what we want to know is, what can we do better? What are you guys looking for? What do you, what do you want to see at gatherings? Um, what kind of interest do you have? What are you looking to learn? What kind of things are you looking to do and participate in? Um, I know that, for me, my biggest thing is that I would like to know about all the different kinds of paganism there are, even if it's not like going to a class about each one, if there was one big class where it said, you know, this is what Alexandrian is and this is what Gardnerian is, because I don't know the difference. I'm just like, yeah, they're all the same, whatever. <laughs> and um, they're not, and you know they're not. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and um, that would be nice, because I, I don't think everyone in the community has a complete understanding of what each one is about, and that could bring some conflicts sometimes. Well, speaking of conflicts, um, I'm curious as to how do you feel about um, people saying, well, that's not real Wicca or original Wicca or, you know, that's a different thing and this is our thing and the, the um, bipartisan... The splits you know, in the, the community, the splits about, in the community who about what and who's when. what and who's in line for... I think that's just trivial stuff. I mean, you're not talking about major stuff going on here. You're talking about, you know, if you were Catholic, oh, I'm Roman Catholic, I'm this, you know. What difference does it make if you have the same ideas? You know, why name it something different? 
you know, and be like, well, I'm this, so I can't talk to you. That's, that's just another form of racism, I think. But it's within the community. Can you say that word again for me <coughs> slowly and clearly? Racism. Oh, good girl. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, intolerance is a very large problem. And um, it happens in our community as it happens in other communities. And I know that one of the things that we've been very pleased to see is the young people of the community getting together, doing their own thing, um, with or without us. We've had some pretty impressive circles run by the young folks in our community. We've had some very impressive um, chantings and songs and um, activities run by you guys. And you've done a tremendous amount of research and a tremendous job um, doing these things and putting them together. And doing them in front of people, which I know for a lot of kids is really kind of tough. <laughs> it's, it's a tough thing to be put on the spot and say, OK, um, uh, I'm going to call this quarter, or I'm going to call God and Goddess, or I'll lead the chanting, or I'll lead the dancing. It's kind of tough. And you guys have all done a real, real good job. Um, any of you who have seen Tiffany and um, her sister and brother at Craftwise have <laughs> seen kids work at sometimes far beyond adult level. So we're very, very proud of you guys. But what we'd like all of you to know is that the nice thing is our guys are not super kids, and they're not what they do and the way they behave and their attitude is not beyond the realm of the other young people who are out there. Uh, this summer when we had Frank have his stroke, we had some really tremendous support from the people, the young people in the community who <sighs> took care of our kids, made sure that they had places to go, shoulders to cry on, people to support David. them, um, came to visit Frank, kept his spirits up. Um, one young man David. David. <laughs> David. Love um, David. Love David. David is just such a sweet soul. Um, has only one thing that his father ever gave him and took that medallion off and gave it to Frank so that Frank would have something to hold on to. <sighs> These guys are great. Love David. Love David. Love David. <laughs> Lots of love for David. 